So we're out here at Meadowbank again today. I got a set of these Bronson Raws to try out and review and test. Really keen to get these bearings in because I've got a pair of G2s, but I've had them for almost like a year now and they're pretty dead. I've cleaned them like once, but they're still going strong. They're just dead, so really keen to uh, see what all the fuss is about. So make sure you stick around for the rest of the video. <laughs> I didn't bring a tripod today, so I'm just setting my camera on top of this wooden tap thing. Hope it doesn't fall. So yeah, Bronson Raws. They look pretty interesting. Here's an, an unboxing. I don't have a I don't have a blade to open it with, so let's hope I can open this thing to begin. There we go. What is it? Is that a sticker? Oh, I've got a little sticker. Can put on my work trolley maybe. Bronson Raw next gen shieldless bearings. Shield free design. Tungsten coated racers, portable speed technology, max impact cage, deep groove raceways, factory fresh quality, made in China. Let's see what all the fuss is about. These were 80 bucks, so $80 for bearings. I'm not sure how much they go for in the States, but in Australia, these are $80. As I said before, I have the G2s. They're just really old now, and they're pretty much dead. So I'll probably keep them as a spare. I might clean them up. Really keen to see how these go, so. I'm gonna, oh, I just dropped them all over the grass. That's not good, dirt and grass in my new bearings. So yeah, I'm gonna chuck these bearings in and then have a roll around, see what I think. They'll definitely be a lot better than the G2s. Um, I kind of wanted to try the G3s first, but I just jumped straight to the, the Raws. So yeah, straight out the box guys. They look pretty flash. There's some writing around the lip of the bearing. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. No, nah. it says Bronson Speed Co Raw. So, they sound good. I mean, Leon said for this same price I could have got bone ceramics, but I really wanted to try the, uh, the Raws out today and I've been a bit of a Bronson boy lately. Listen to that. It sounds good, it sounds quality. So I'm hoping these bearings live up to the expectations of everyone else saying that they're really good. Or I've had a few people say that they're not that great because there's no shield, so dirt goes in the bearing straight away but apparently they made them shieldless so that dirt could travel through and not get stuck in. But I'll, I'll be the judge of that, I suppose. Pop this right off. I hope my uh, bolts go back on because it's a bit threaded. Pop these off. Oh, my hands are gonna be filthy don't, after this. Don't they give you spaces, is it? These ones, no. Oh. But these are the G2s. I'm gonna keep these, but so I'll just put them to the side there. I've got an idea if you just stare into the camera while you're doing it, that would be sick. Just give them a smile while you're doing it. <laughs> I'm keen to try these bearings out. Are they Bronson's? My board's been so slow, I hate I hate looking slow on my board and feeling slow. Are they Bronson's? Bronson or Raw's. Yeah, oh, well, these ones are the G2's I'm pulling out. Yeah, I've got the other ones. G3's? Yeah. Oh, you're a lucky boy. I should have really thought which are my front wheels. I don't think it's going to matter. We'll do a bit of a wheel alignment here. What way do you put them? I'll put my cases facing the outside. Like that? Yeah. But then it has a case on it. Oh, no, put them the other way. I'm going to put them this way so oh, I look yeah, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, they go that way normally anyway. I need one of those things where you pop. It's like a... <laughs> yeah, no, you just use, use the truck. <sighs> Is that on? Yeah, she's on. Is she spinning? She's spinning. She's spinning and winning. Look at these coppers one. What do we say, John? FT what? FT... FTC film the cops. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the big less show. Mark, Mark Nolan. Uh, You're right, mate. Having a having a having a, having a, a bark. <laughs> I don't bark, do they? Gonna have a little roll around on these, and I'll be right back with you guys. Tell you how I think these bearings are going to go. <laughs> How's my speech? So these bearings are straight out of the the box no lube i don't think you're supposed to lube them i think they have a factory lube possibly 
So first thoughts out of the box, they seem to like have a lot of torque so you can like push a couple times and then just roll. I want to see how far I can roll on these though. So these bearings feel pretty fresh, pretty new. You got to take into consideration the type of wheels I have, they're quite hard. They're not going to be the quickest on like tarmac and stuff through the park, they're pretty smooth. So far so good. I just really want to see if they live up to the price tag and all the hype as well. So I guess throughout the day I'll be able to tell you guys. So right now we're heading out to go get food and stuff. Had a pretty good session on these bearings. They weren't as fast as I would have thought they would have been. I thought they would have been like, whoa, straight out of the box, but they're not bad. I guess if you were to lube them up, the lube would just fall straight out because there's no shields. So I don't know. Let's see how the rest of the day plans out. You're gonna open this gate for me, sir? Look at this weird person. Thank you. Get some chicken. Oh, I see, he was timid enough, yeah. He was fine. Look at the mullet on him. He's got a mullet, man. Bold with a mullet. Like a middle-aged Rabbitohs fan. <laughs> next car, next car, next car. It was feed camera. <sighs> Make it so you pop up. No, you gotta be like on the road so they can see you. Yeah, just be like behind the. Yeah, quick, 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 quick.
How's the serenity? If you think about it, Sydney's not too bad. Sydney's Sydney's pretty cool, I suppose. What's that red hot chili pepper song, Under the Bridge? I think it's called Under the Bridge. We're under a bridge right now. <laughs> so out of the box, I felt like it took a little bit for these bearings to break in. They feel really good. They're not as quick as what I thought they would be, but they're still pretty talky. Like if you push a couple times, your board will roll for longer. But overall, yeah, they're not bad. I mean, 80 bucks. I would like to see how like bone ceramic go because they've got cases, so they might be a little bit quicker. I don't know. I'll tell you one thing though, the uh, Bronson marketing is on point. That's probably why I bought these because the packaging looks so good. My opinion on these bearings, I'll probably give them like a six out of 10. That's just me though. Um, I honestly feel like my G2s are a bit quicker out of the box compared to these ones. But yeah, just depending on the type of skating you do. If you're skating clean parks a lot, these bearings would be sweet because not a lot of dust and dirt can get trapped in them. I kind of skate a little bit of both now, street and park, so I'm keen to see how they go. So overall, I'd give them probably a 6 out of 10. Alright, if you guys made it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. Shouts out to all the new subscribers. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you're not following me on Instagram already. Make sure you head on over, follow me at Enochism. Make sure you're following Evening Mob on Instagram as well. The upcoming drop is going to be on the 20th of September, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to be following Evening Mob to stay up to date with all the details. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll catch all of you all in the next one. Wait, where are your skate trainers, bro? <laughs>